G'day, my name's Stuart Jingnor and welcome to my YouTube channel and this series, this vlog series that I'm doing of how our family is responding to the current pandemic. <sighs> now the, the Australian government's response has been a bit varied. Uh, the state governments are being a lot stricter than the federal government is. And uh, a whole stack of businesses have been told that they really need to shut down uh, and various shops and stuff, but not essential services like places where you buy food. That last weekend, all the markets were shut by the local government. It's three levels of government in Australia. So I'm about to head off to see if some sense has prevailed and they're now open. Well, I'm pissed. The market is still canceled. And I just do not get the logic. It's one of my things I go on about, about people not thinking because thinking is hard work. And one of the groups of people that is really guilty of this, and we all do it, but one of the groups of people that's really guilty of this are bureaucrats. And it's a big problem because not only do they do it a lot, but their lack of forethought or lack of thinking through the consequences of their decisions has effects for us all and can affect this in a big way. Like in this way, it was a, a safer way of us getting food has been shut down. Now, because of Edward, our son, he is- Are we is, home, are we? You know, uh, well, we don't know, but he's he's got a, he's got a raft yeah. of health yeah, conditions. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, breathe, you like him breathe you there. So the chances of him being more susceptible to this bug is great. But let's just say he's not more susceptible but gets it anyway. He is going to be so far down the triage list that if he needs extra care, he's just not going to get it. And the doctors, because of the pressures they're under, will have to make a decision and the decision will be, no, he's not getting care. So we have to be extra careful. So we want to avoid places where we're likely to pick up an infection and one of the most likely places that we're likely to pick up an infection with that we're being forced to go to are supermarkets because the council is closing down all the open air markets because get this in a supermarket you have so many people involved with getting the food to the point where it's accessible to the public and then it's accessible to the public like everyone has access to it. All the bins of fresh fruit and veg are all laid out. And even if they're packaged, like, you know, one, two kilo bags of apples or whatever the like, okay? The virus particles, if someone is just walks past them and drapes their hand over or picks, oh no, I don't want two. I'll put, and, and puts one back or they cough or they splutter as they're walking past, can land on the plastic and then you pick it up and you take that home. The, the risk, of you buying stuff that ha has, that is called a formite. Actually, it's a fomite, not a formite. And a fomite is an inanimate object that is a means of infection. A formite is a thing that's been contaminated with virus particles. And then bringing that home in a supermarket is a significant risk. Now we don't know how big it is, because we don't know the presence of the virus in our community or whatever, but it's a significant risk. Whereas, you come to a market like this, the produce isn't accessible to the public. Well, look, in some markets it might be. But I would imagine any storeholder, any vendor with their sense would say to people, don't touch my freaking stock. If you want it, I will bag it up for you. Tell me what you want. I will bag it up for you. There's your box. Take it away. Uh, you're you standing over there. Are you waiting for me? Okay, you can come closer now. All right? Much more social distancing. You're in the open air. The air is not, you know, hanging around and being recirculated like it's the supermarket. Like, in any, if you were going to design a safe way or the safest way for people to get their stuff, other, other than individually home delivering I can't think of a better way of doing it than an open air market and yet they've closed them now I don't know the exact wording of what the premier's advice to local governments is but his public advice was that essential services would remain open and places where people buy food essential service and yet they've closed I'm just
you know, the the logic of allowing supermarkets to continue to trade, but open air markets have to close. I don't get it. And if you can explain it to me, explain it to me. Now, tell me in the comments why it's more sensible to keep a supermarket open than it is to keep an open air market mo open, especially like at the showgrounds where there is so much space to spread the stalls out and spread the people out. And I'm not talking about allowing every Tom Dick and stall holder here. Anyone who's got plastic crap or whatever, no, send them home. I'm talking about suppliers of food, soap, other essential stuff that we need. I found a fruit and veg seller. It looks like they're just sort of setting up in a car park. Look at this, service with a smile. Bring it to my car for me, thank you. Yeah. I just don't get this decision by the council to shut down the open air markets. Uh, as, as these people were saying, they don't let anyone touch their stock. They've had a few people they said come in and wanted to, you know, were reaching towards touching the grapes and stuff. They said, no, get back. Um, you know, they control what they're doing. Um, they, I, I was watching them for a little bit. They served a couple of other people as I was maintaining my distance. And I could see that they were paying attention to what they were doing with their hands and what they were doing. But then before they went back to start serving me and getting my fruit and veg, it just, it just <laughs> makes no sense. And since then I've spoken to the council and it was frustrating. This is kind of how the conversation went. Why have you closed the market? Uh, in the interest of public safety, we're trying to protect the public. Okay, right, that's good. Um, do you realize that you are less likely to be infected with the virus, all things being equal, in an open air environment than an enclosed area? Yes, right. Do you realize that in a supermarket, it's not only an enclosed area, but the public has full access to the produce that's available for sale? Yes. Do you realize that at a market, it's possible for the vendor to control access to the stock and prevent people even going near it, let alone touching it? Yes. Do you realize that in a supermarket it can be difficult to maintain social distancing because of the aisle-like structure of the supermarket layout. You can be in a situation where you are in the aisle and then two people enter the aisle at either ends and they come towards you and what do you do? And if you, you can tell them to go away, hey, let me out, but you're in a situation where that you, you're reliant on them complying for you to maintain social distance. Contrasted with an open air market, you've got a lot more freedom of movement to get away from people if they're not being considerate. Council person said yes. Right. Well, given that, would you agree that a open air market is less risky to shop in than a supermarket? Yes. Oh, cool. We are. We're making some progress here. This is fabulous. Okay. We could, great. Okay. Well, given that. Why did the council make the decision to close the open air markets, the farmers market, the showgrounds market, etc., in the interest of public safety? But you just we just went through a series of discussion points, and you, you, you we came to the you agreed that an open air market is a less risky shopping environment than the supermarket. Yes. So why did you close the open air market in the interest of public safety? Now this is you can see why this was frustrating, but. It's more risky at a supermarket and you closed the low risk option for people. That forces people into a higher risk option, which means you're increasing the risk to the public. And, and this went backwards and forwards for a while until she said that the council couldn't be party to the market going ahead because the risk couldn't be eliminated. And so I said, but even though you acknowledge that it's a lower risk option than the supermarket and that closing the lower risk option, the markets, means that people are going to have to go to the supermarket, that actually increases the risk. 
Yes, but we couldn't be party to exposing people to a risk. And because the risk at the market couldn't be eliminated, eliminated, we had to close the markets in the interest of public safety. But you're increasing the risk to the public. You're forcing them to... <laughs> But you're forcing people to take a higher risk option. You're increasing the risk to them. Not more. In addition to that, as you close off other sources of supply, people are then concentrated in the remaining sources of supply, which increases the risk at those already higher risk options. Yeah. And while she acknowledged that, <laughs> He wouldn't acknowledge that it was an Ill, it was an illogical decision in the interests of public safety to close the markets. And I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. They're making decisions in their own best interests to minimise the risk to themselves. And it's got yeah, it's got nothing to do with public safety. Something I just thought I needed to add is that when you're dealing with situations like this, there are no safe options. There are no zero risk options. There are safer options, there are high risk options, there are low risk options. And so when you're making the decisions on what you're going to do and how you're going to protect your family and what things you're going to cut out of your lives and what things you have to leave in for whatever reasons, you can't you can't think about it as if I'm going to keep my family. You can't think about it in terms of only doing the things that are safe. You have to try, you have to think about, okay, well, this is low risk, I can do that. That is high risk, I'm gonna avoid that. It's about choosing the safer option, not the safe option.